and welcome to Star Wars Obsessed. So I was thinking about what I could do, what kind of figures I could put around the Smuggler's Run Millennium Falcon. And I really don't have a lot of figures that I could add to that besides Stormtroopers and so forth. And then I remembered I got this, the Imperial Scanning Crew. Oh, it has a number BD. 32, whatever that means. But this is from the Star Wars Legacy Collection, and it's part of the Droid Factory, where you can build a unique droid. This came out in 2009, and I've had this since 2009. Didn't really have a reason to display it, even though my vintage Millennium Falcon was on display at one point. Not on the wall, but actually sitting up on the shelf. And I, I guess I could have put this out there, but I forgot about it until recently when I was going through all the carded figures that I have. Now I'm going to take this off the package and add it to the Smuggler's Run Millennium Falcon display. Yay! The picture is some generic dude, so well, whatever. Not a very appealing looking card back, rather bland. So no problem opening this thing. I just, I do like that it has this accessory and it has a blaster. What does it say about the scanning crew? An Imperial scanning crew checks the Millennium Falcon to make sure no one is on board. The two man crew brings the scanner onto the ship and quickly discovers the vessel is not as empty as it first appeared to be. This for the Build-A-Droid is a sticker. And here's the part for the Build-A-Droid. I don't think I have any other carded figures that's part of the Build-A-Droid collection, at least for the, uh, the protocol droid. Although this one has a very interesting shaped head. Time to take this out, finally. Hey, sorry to interrupt, but remember the sounds that I shared with you on the Smuggler's Run Millennium Falcon? Well, I discovered even more sounds. Listen, I discovered this one right here. Isn't that cool? There's a special sound here when um, the button is held down. I'll play it for you right now. And that is from The Empire Strikes Back. Wow! And then we have these sounds over here. There's that extra sound, and then there's this one. So cool! For this one, we get the uh, sounds of 3PO and Chewbacca playing the game. <laughs> But if I hold the button down, it just plays them all in one sequence. Now why is upset a Wookiee? I suggest a new strategy, R2. Let the Wookiee win. That's so cool. Then this one has the Luke and Ben sounds. With the blast shield down, I can't even see. How am I supposed to fight? <laughs> You see? You can do it. But if I hold the button down, this is what we get. R2, come back at once! You didn't know how to fix the hyperdrive! You did it! Isn't that cool from The Empire Strikes Back? That's so awesome! I'm going to check out the, the droid part. And here it is. All right, it moves at the elbow. Very cool. That it even rotates. Wow. Very nice. And it turns at the wrist. Kind of shiny, too. Very cool droid part. I just don't have a droid to attach it to. I guess this will have to just go to the vintage Jawa Droid Factory. 
All right, here's the build a droid piece going into the vintage droid factory. I'll just set it right there. Why not? Maybe one of these days I'll get more pieces to the droid to complete that. This is the thing to scan with, I guess. These don't come out. It is on wheels. All right, well, there's nothing else to it. Not even a lid. This is pretty much it. All right, here's the blaster. It's a very flimsy blaster, seems to be the thing. So we've got all this swiveling in the head, all this wonderful articulation. Nice detail on the uniform. Coloring here and there. Even right there, wow, nice. Belt, a holster for the weapon. Everybody has to have a weapon. Our your shoulders move up? Yep, shoulders move up. Well, it's kind of difficult to do with this this logo popping off of the shoulder right there, so it's hard to turn that up. So it turns there and bends at the elbows, turns at the wrist, turns at the elbows here, at the waist. Nice. This is good. And bends at the knees. There it is. And turns at the knees and swivels at the ankle and does a turn and it rotates, turns at the ankle. Very nice looking figure. Unfortunately, I only got one. I know they had two two members of the scanning crew. Because honestly, I didn't think that I would open it. Because that's my that was my attitude at the time. Is I was just going to keep them on card and not display them. Well, that has definitely changed. And now, time for the scanning crew. Or a scanning crew member to inspect the Millennium Falcon. All right, here is the Smuggler's Run Millennium Falcon. And I figure a good place to display the scanning crew would be about right there. Why not? That'll be good. And then you can put the box right in front of him like that. And then maybe, you know, just for added protection, I'll just set a Stormtrooper right here. The other guy's sick, so he can't help out, so he's asking the Stormtrooper to give him give him some assistance with lifting this heavy box into the Millennium Falcon to check out the, if there's any shenanigans going on. Alright, there we go. A nice addition to the display. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You could follow Star Wars Obsess on Instagram. See you on the next Star Wars Obsessed.